I don't. Ex I didn't expect Execration to go for a Chang'o. They, they're not the ones who actually pick this a lot. But you know what? For it's... this certain play, <laughs> yeah, sure. So this I, is what happens when you ban the Lo Yi and the Selina. I was expecting a Lunox. Oh really? They, 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 they play Lunox more. Oh yeah, that's a good point. It has a more. Uh, they use it in cer certain situations where they really need that damage. Yeah, and uh, uh, look at it. Etomax has 33.3% win rate on the Chang'o. Uh, so, that's that's their last resort. Yeah, that's their last yeah. resort. And I was expecting a Lunox just to make sure that uh, Yu Zhong and the others, uh, especially Khaled. I was thinking that Khaled could be a possibility for the side of Onyx PH. That's why I thought maybe it could be, you know, the Ka the Lunox, mm -hmm. but... It's going to be the Chang'o. Dude, 100% win rate for Iacno on the Khaled. This is scary, eh? That's and I scary. think it's automatically gonna go to Iacno. Dilar here will get that Yu Zhong and Wise signature YSS. YSS. There we go. So, it's. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> this is painful to watch. But yeah, this is definitely this is the the at home Onyx lineup. This is their default. Uh, that does not. Uh, I w I wouldn't really. Well, Onyx is in, in at home. Oh yeah, they are at home. Yeah, so but comfort comfort pick. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for pointing Onyx, that out. Onyx is at home. Yeah, they are at now, home. Now, execution. Never ever underestimate the individual skills of. This team Mechanically They can make plays On their own There are times Where they don't find Their own identity uh, They don't find Teamwork to be working For them But when The times that they do They just Overpower The other team With their mechanical prowess That's true And this is really What execution is made of Let's see what will happen Are we Going to have A 3-0 Or will execution Put Onik in place as they will put us to a game number four. Will that be the case? We don't know right now, but Welcome let's head in to, to the Celestial Palace for the possible last game of this battle for turn. 2 0 so far in favor of Onik PH. Will Execration be able to get back on the horse? Let's find out. Because definitely uh, they have a, uh, again, win rates for the specific heroes they have. Not that good. On that claw, 40% plus. You know what? Venus here. Dealing damage is getting the gold. A lot of bonus Making gold, it rain. right? Yeah, making it rain. Making it rain. And Jay's still here. He's trying to go for the reset, I think. But yeah, he's too. it's too risky for him. He, this is similar to what happened oh, last game. Oh, nice. But Ejector's still there. First Purify for the kill. That's Sagitnu with the first blood. And uh, Sagitnu really did a great job there. Didn't go straight. Uh, well, he did use the Purify in a very early stage, but for a Uranus, unless you get ganked, you don't really get to use that early. Yeah, You're exactly. an anti So it's good to have it on cooldown, right? Yeah. And especially for an offensive reason, for a way that you can get some gold for it. But uh, oh my Venus is going to be the target here. Level 4 against level 2. That's going to be a very dead Farsa right there. And this is, uh, this is Venus getting left in the middle lane. While Hate is getting everything that he wants in lane. Hate here is, you know, trying to get this crab coin. Dude. But the Yaknu has his eyes on everything on that's happening onto the top lane right what, now. What's happening to the levels of Onyx PH here? They're all so low. I'm a little surprised at the same time, you know, I'm trying to look for a reason. Uh... Yaku was double two in that exchange. There were three people around him. He could have died. Well, there is a certain amount of pressure going to the side of Onyx PH right now, but the execution here won't stop. Their hate going in. Dude, hate on fire right now on this Ling. And uh, Comfort Hero for hate is definitely making up for the fact that they are not going to be, uh, they're not going to be focusing on him. Mm, and uh, it seems that execution has a second wind. Yep, this is the hate that we know, right? This is the hate that moves like this. Chakno, though, will be the first casualty. Etomax following suit. <laughs> Two kills right away. This has become all too normal for us right now. 
We are seeing Execration getting a few kills left and right, then down and center. Benny Cutie is the next target. Rockets are there and oh. no flicker. And nice use of the BMI there just to get away. Kate again going straight. Oh my goodness. Where's the backup? They are kind of just looking at him. Well, he did, uh, he did use wings by wings to get there. So, we'll put himself in a very bad spot. Yeah, the aggressive plays are actually working out in favor of execration. Onyx aggression is way too much. Okay, so there is a blazing duet to clear the wave. This. Yaknu is here. He is just looking down. Trying oh! to take down Benny Cutie. What kind of aggression? That was predicted, ladies and gentlemen. Benny Cutie was predicting that he would go forward. But over the slash, he went back. That was uh, not what was planned. That was not part of the plan right and, there. And it's because Iyaknu analyzed that he will be going back on the BMI. And he didn't. And so far, it's looking really good for Execration here. All of a sudden, although hate is very low, again, Turtle will go over to Onyx PH. Surprisingly, uh, I don't know how they got this free Turtle, but now they're going to be suffering. Uh, I mean, Execration is going to be suffering for it. Oh, look at this. Sagitlu going back and forth, and here comes the Meteor Shower. Sagitlu with the rotations. That is it. That's how you play it. Sagitnu's rotating very, very hard into the mid lane whenever he's needed. Making sure that there's always a lot of pressure on Salmon and PH. Is he gonna be in my back? No, he's, he's not. Well, he is right now when Jay just went out. And as oh, you Weiss. can see, Wise is here. This could be bad. This could be good as well. And Sagitnu here is his main target. Not really the best target that oh! he wanted, but the play nice is of everything. They get Oh My Venus. Hate here. Etomax. He's near, but no more kills for the side of Execration. And Onyx PH, they're getting punished. Execration's pressure on the map is unbelievable. Trying to go hard into weak points. And again, they're fighting off against weakened members of Onyx PH. Execration, they are finally getting back here. And they are not slowing down. I just want to say that Onyx PH right now, especially Venus, he's been using the wings by wings to get in the fights and he has no way to get out. You hate almost going down. Yaknu here falling very low. Chaktu is the next target. Benny Cutie is in the vicinity. But he will just go back and that's another kill on the pockets of Weiss. He's still holding on, man. That's a good thing about this. Again, we are looking for uh, the aggression from Onik to just kind of slow down if they want to win. And for Execration, they need to take advantage. And oh my goodness. Jay here tried to control still Sagitlu, alive. still alive, wow. He cannot commit anymore. He what? will just go back. What a brave little robot. You know, he's still punching even though he's like one hit away. Under the tower, trying to bait out Sagitnu. Again, not well, It's not there. like you can do anything at this point. Exactly, exactly. So far, Execration is going to be ahead by 1,600 gold. And they will get the second turtle of the game. Well, let's see how will this uh, move onto the side of Execration. I mean, Execration still has the lead. Clearly, they still have the lead. Clearly. But with the keep away game that uh, Onyx Cage can play. Hate looks a lot better. Yeah, though. Hate looks a lot better. Hate looks so much better in this game. He's really, really realizing, you know what? I need to wake up. I need to wake up. If we want to stay in this tournament. We got to keep going. They're doing it. And Iyakno here will be using that. Oh, I like that proactivity. Ladies and gentlemen, hate there. Going in and Wise tries to take him down, but they know that Sabasha, it would take a lot of time, a lot of resource, and Ben QT going in. Fortunately for Onyx PH, they did not take the bait. Yeah, that's even more, more resources going to Execration because of that top tower take. So their execution is kind of really ramping up the gold production. Making sure that Onyx PH doesn't, you know, they don't group up together. This is a this is a very good chunk of play from Eto Max oh, as well. They get hate. They almost got Almost got there. him. Tempest of Blades right on time. Means that, you know what? They'll be able to they'll be able to at least slow down execution by a little bit. 
But I don't think it's going to be enough. Execration could go and run away with the win there if they want to go for a push. It can be done. It can be done here in the mid lane. Bottom lane will be coming soon as well. Okay, so let's see. Wise here. Is he going to get this buff? Okay, Chaknu going back and forth and back and forth. And that is the push. Oh, Rage Sandstorm hits too. So get to here. Try to get the Yaknu. Yaknu falling very low. But here comes the damage. Mountain Chalker in the middle of everything. Hate here doesn't have the key anymore. And that is going to be disengaged. But that is going to be stolen. A stolen purple buff onto the side of Onyx PH. That is a big buff steal, not to mention Benny Cutie is also pushing on the opposite end of the map, going for turrets, going for those minions, going for the crab coin non stop. He's double 10 right now. Oh, Athena Shield going up for Jay, and that is going to be a retribution on that, uh, on that turtle. Smelling they still get wise. Here. They still get wise. Hate here. He is going at it. He is playing out of his mind. Yep, Benny Cutie is going to be another... Oh, Yaknu! That was a little bit off, but he's able to make it out instead. Yet, the target will be Sajiknu. So many thank you members from Execration. They, Onyx PH doesn't know how to deal with it. And look at this, how they're dealing with it. Etamax here playing one hell of a Chang'o game as well. He doesn't have the best stat for this, but... It's really working for them. Go on ex Execration. They are just using the stickers of their own enemy against them. Exactly. Just throwing it out there and trying to get into the minds of on PH. Will that be enough though? We'll have to wait and see. Against the Gate is so tanky on the Uranus. He can actually do whatever he wants and Ben Cutie. He's only showing himself whenever he gets the turtle. Go and free. Okay. At the max here. We'll go down. And this is a 4v3. Okay, Hate is the next target. They go straight for Venus and the other Pilar in the middle. And Hiyaktu is onto the bottom lane. They will stop fighting even if it's a 4v3 favoring the side of Onik. They're playing it safe now. They don't want they don't want to take any chances. They're not sure whether or not Hate is gonna go back. And Hate, if he wanted to go back, he could actually really quickly. They're taking their minds on that. Hate locking in Demon Hunter Sword means that his hits are only going to be so much stronger now. Mm -hmm. And Alter Ego is coming out. A lot of teams here from MPL ID is getting thrown out here. I don't know, man. It's, that's kind of throwing me off. <laughs> I know, I know. It's, 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 it's not what we're looking for, man. Solid Force is going to go down. Jay, oh, he's low. He can't oh, sustain. Hey. Hate almost, almost going down, and Hate here is the next target. That is the godlike killing spree, and Farsa getting the kill. Hate shut down. Ming. That is the shutdown, and is this the uh, is this the comeback that Onyx PH wants? Is this the opening that they want? But don't forget about Benny Cutie. Don't forget about Benny Cutie. That's what I'm about to say. Exactly. Because you can never I ever can count tell. the Claude out. Yep, this is a claw that has not shown its face for a long time. <laughs> and when you don't see claws for a long time on the map, expect a lot of crazy stuff to happen, especially like this. The counter engage is there to stun. Wow. Well timed. Wow, oh my Venus. Right on time to slow and stun him down, or else he would have been dead. And there's going to be Benicuti again, getting ready near the Lord area. They can take this really quickly. They have the items to do so. And let's see, Wise, how will he deal with this? He's trying to get as much items as possible here. He needs to survive. He needs to get away. He needs to not be inside of the link every single time. That's the only reason why he cannot do things is because hate is always at his throat. Absolutely. I, I completely agree, man. It's just... Oh man, Benny Cutie is gonna be the next target here for sure. I mean, it's start. It's time to kind of just put hate as a secondary target. Yeah. Because if you ignore Benny Cutie, Onyx is gonna get wiped out in one fell swoop. Mm. I'm just seeing Benny Cutie here as long as uh, he takes care of, uh, let's say, getting hit with the fairy we strike. They're gonna do well. Mountain Shocker is there. They spot it out. They know that something is happening here and they won't contest it. They can't do anything about this. Lots of damage output from the Chang'e. Plus, Force the Claude is there. Means that you can't contest. You can't, you can't out damage this lineup. Mm -hmm. 
and they keep on using Goonic. Lord will come out in the bottom lane. And uh, Rockheart just seeing Onyx PH right now. I don't think that they have the highest of chances to go for a comeback. Especially with the club on the other side. Yeah, this is starting to get start to become unlikely. Unless Iakmo pulls off a miracle Khaled that's like super carry. I mean, you can't out carry two carries mm -hmm. on your own if you're wise. Jay here is the target of that meteor shower, but Dilar and the others they won't let Lord even get to that area. Benny Cutie going in with a BMI, he's trying to do so much damage Look here. Look at that, but on Dilar, HP. Dilar here trying to contain everyone here on the side of expression, but that's such a tall order for them, and nobody even goes down at the hands of the. Execution squad on the audit squad. That's right. The gold is 9k and they are not starting to barrel down on top in mid. That's very scary for Onik. The next creation, they want more. Mm. They're slowing down a bit though. Yeah, and uh, they don't have the Lord anymore. They got what they wanted. They opened down bottom lane and they, they, they do not have the freedom to do the things that they want. Uh, for Execration, I mean they have the lead, but you don't abuse that lead. Exactly, right? I mean, right now the items are definitely looking better on the side of execution. Look at that! On the go again! Mm hmm. Eight here sticking near that wall. Finch poises all day long. Oh! They got hit! They actually got hit. Oh, Even yeah. Slowed. Slowing down, but again, Black Dragon Form will be down as well. Two minutes on the Lord means that's a long time that Execration can just wave clear non-stop. Uh, sorry, Onik can wave clear non-stop to defend their base against Execration. Now, the question is, how will you reach Oh My Venus? How I, can you get to Oh yeah, My Venus? Yeah, it's Benny Cutie. It's all up to Benny Cutie at this point in hate. And if that happens, you're risking a lot. You're risking a lot to do that. Okay. So, Sagitnu... Hasn't fallen down once. Shaknu here he is the target. He gets caught out. Jay here. Wait a oh. second. Oh, hey, going in. There you go. They take down Farsa. They don't have an answer. Why strike to do so much damage? Hey, will he go He's down? He's flying. And Sagitnu will be there to cover up for his brother. Hate here, still alive. This is what I'm talking about. Go for the, go for the Farsa using the claw, and you can BMI out. That's that's the key. That's the key right there. Dilar, trying to get away. Here comes the claw. Claw here has enough damage, and that's going to be the Uranus. Wise going with the blade. And there you go. And they do not want to end this early. Claw goes down. BMI still hitting. That uh, the uh, BMI still hitting that base. And let us see. Can Jay do something here? Can he stop the... Oh! Oh, wait! They actually stop it! He stop it for a little bit. But that's a dive-in by Jay. Mid lane will be kept alive. I thought it was it. I thought that was over. Okay. But apparently, they don't want to give it up yet. He threw it back, and that was masterful play there, knowing the limits of their base. That's and base look gone. at this, Agitnu. They gave the Uranus, and the Uranus is making them pay. Onik does not have a way to deal with the HP bars of Execration. That much is true, and that will be the win. We have a series 3-1, uh, 2-1 rather, in favor of Onik PH Execration. Still get it. Uh.